Perfect. What's going on everyone? So in today's video, we're gonna be tearing the engine out of the R33. Before we get started, I just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone that's stuck with the channel. It's been very, very slow. Videos have been sort of like non-existent. So you guys have stuck with the channel. Massive, massive thank you to you guys. And uh, thanks for your support. Like I said, today we'll be tearing the engine out of the R33, but before we begin, I just wanna remind you all to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It is a bit of a short video this time, but it is gonna get a lot better from here on out. This is just like the beginning of the RB25 build. I just wanted to crack on and basically get the engine out. And I didn't wanna be messing around, you know, with the camera on and off all the time. So it is a little bit short in that respect. There are also quite a few people up there the day I was pulling the engine out. And uh, I'm a bit shy with the camera still. I'm not a massive fan of getting it out and, and sort of like doing it in front of people. So I may seem a little bit nervous as well. But hey, bear with it, and the next one will be a lot better. But for now, like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy the video, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Right, well, the uh, Skyline is back onto the ramp. Nice. Ready to have the engine pulled. I'm hoping I can get it all done today. Um, but we'll see. Gotta say a massive thank you to Ed, the driver, for uh, letting me be up here, let me store the Skyline and uh, use the ramp. So now, I guess, uh, here comes the, the easy part, pulling it all apart. Well, here we are with the R33. Up on the ramp and uh, so far so good. Ramp didn't puncture any holes in it, which I'm happy about, because that would have been a nightmare, because it is that rotten. <laughs> I'm just in process of taking off the rear wheels. Uh, this side, rear wheels off. I am removing the diff and the shafts out of this. Uh, just putting the 40 in, just the gear ratios and everything. Just quickly, I mean, you might not be able to see in there, but the, uh, the sills have been done before by the look of it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bad, it's crusty. So I'm glad that I'm not actually trying to restore this and you know, I am actually just selling it. Um, there are some HSDs on it, which I was thinking about taking off and putting on the 14, but uh, they are looking a bit sorry for themselves. So I don't know if you can see in there, but yeah, they're, they're looking a bit sorry for themselves. So I don't know if I will, we'll see. Um, check condition of them when the car's properly up in the air. But for now, this is where we're at. The car is very rotten and it has had some sill work before. I don't know if you'll see it under here. Uh, I'll have to see if I can find a light, but uh, you can just about see how rusty it is. Like, these are the problem areas, and it's really bad. All along, even chassis rails. It looks like something you'd find at Chernobyl. You know, it's pretty bad. But we're not bothered about any of that. We're having the engine out. Even up front, it's going through. Crusty old downpipe, no wonder it sounds like crap. I've got a new one, like I say, we're gonna get that chucked on. Um, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna crack on, uh, see how far I can get. I need to ideally get the engine out today. I wanna get the diff out, but I've just uh, just tried to take off the hub nut there and uh, I ain't got the right size socket. So, plus somebody's already tried butchering this side. Really gone to town oh, with a chisel. Oh yeah, nice one. Makes my life a lot easier. I don't know if you can see it as well, but on this sill, I'll try and point it out. There's actually, oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Everything's just falling off. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I'll catch you up in a little bit. I 
was a long old day. There she is. Out of the car. Fantastic. This is what's this is what's left of the skyline. It's empty. No more engine. I've still got to take off the coolant pipes because I need to keep them. But the rest of it is probably going to stay. Um, guy's going to come and collect it hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Uh, dash is out. I'm going to try to fit that in 14. Hopefully it works. I've not decided yet if I'm keeping up wiring. Like, that's the alarm box and stuff. And it's all immobilised in here. I'd rather not, but I want to keep the clocks. So, uh, I don't know. I'll try and make a decision on that at some point. But it went really, really smoothly. Actually, quite happy. Um, yeah. Like I said earlier, sad to see this thing go, but these must. Safety first. Oh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Short but sweet. Next one, we're going to be doing uh, hopefully putting engine in the S14, so stay tuned for that. But bye, R33. It's been nice knowing you. Short time in that. Crustacean. Yeah. Cool. Happy days. Anyway, I'm off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.